Greetings, everybody. It is the Ash Heritor. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. In the previous episode, we investigated the Sunlit Swamp, which, as it turns out, is not actually very sunlit. It's a gloomy and miserable place. And Auntie Ethel, the lovely elderly lady that, you know, fussed over us, turns out she's a hag. Can't trust anybody these days. So we are attempting to uh, liberate her captive, uh, a woman named uh, Marina, who... Uh, I think it's Marina. Uh, she is pregnant. Uh, she's come to make a deal with the hag. Uh, I think she's probably here by choice. It seems like all the other people that came to make a deal with Auntie Ethel and got a very uh, creative interpretation of their deal fulfilled. Um, I think that's probably what happened to her as well. Anyways, we're going to put an end to Auntie Ethel's reign of terror. And I was wondering, you know, how the hell do we follow her? Uh, but of course, the door gave us a clue. Don't it's, uh... Look. It Don't just, you know... Auntie Ethel just walked through it now. Oh, look at this! Oh, Shadowheart, Shadowheart was already Please. in there. Please. So, uh, we should be able to just walk through it, I think. I mean, Shadowheart just walked through it. No, now we're starting a conversation with it again. God damn it. I don't want to talk to this door again. It's very depressing. It doesn't want to help. And it's got an incredibly long loading time. I don't know why this door is... So, problematic. Nothing else has this long of a conversation loading time. Hint of life. All we can do is leave. So can we, uh... Nope, don't Wait. click on it again, please. Alright, we've got, uh, you know, this, this elf here, the crazy elf. Here we go, there we go. Now we can just go through it. Look. Look at that! So, we didn't take the masks. Uh, we learned the lesson last time. That was a bad idea. Um... Okay, so we've got to we've got to track down Auntie Ethel. Uh, I'm gonna auto save immediately, even though I'm like I figured this out very quickly. Uh, I mentioned in the previous episode that I was gonna look around in my own time, and that if you had uh, that if you wanted to uh, mention that uh, there was still something to do here, just let me know and don't tell me what to do. Uh, I haven't read any of those comments yet because that episode isn't even up yet. <laughs> it's still the episode beforehand that's being uploaded when I am currently recording this because I decided, ah, screw it, I'm going to figure it out myself. And uh, as it turns out, it was, uh, you know, they basically tell you how to figure it out beforehand. Who are you? Oh, more red caps, huh? No, wait, what the fuck? Uh, let's be sneaky about this. I don't know if we can. I think we're about to get detected. Uh, let's toggle group mode here. I would... What the hell are you? Mask of Vengeance. Excuse me? You guys are wearing these goddamn masks. Who are these people? You look like a drow. Okay. Um. You look like something else. Weird. Are they illusions? Like, the, the fact that they're just called masks is weird. Anyways, um. So, one of the things I would like to do is... Ooh, I would like to get her up to there. And I would like to get Gale up onto the high ground as well. Although, if we're both standing up here... Though that's a ranged character. I think we can manage the high ground. I'm just going to get Ash up onto the high ground. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Or we can go straight into combat because you were going to run all the way around. It, it said that I could jump up there. I call bullshit. The pathing in this game. Jesus Christ. Let's get everybody else involved. Uh, there's no sense in dilly-dallying here. Can we just, uh, get Shadowheart all up in that business? Can we get Shadowheart to just start this off with a, a firebolt? Right, uh, right there, maybe? Fantastic. So she's in. Gale? I think we gotta, we gotta try and take one of these out. So let's just start off with the magic missile. We'll get him involved. Okay, Gale's in the battle. And, uh, Karlak? Can you just finish that one off? If you would, get, get as close as possible. Hopefully she can actually make it there with her uh, sneaker rising. Because uh, Ash is about to be exposed. Um, she's going in and... Nice. That's, that's one down. Alright. Ash's turn. Never a dull moment. So, Ash, you gotta, uh, you gotta deal with that one. That's a ranged character. Although, we may as well get the high ground. Not enough movement points. We may as well not get the high ground. It's just... Uh, Eldritch Blast. These aren't too terrible of enemies, and we're just out of movement for the Thorn Whip. God damn it, we probably get a Thorn Whip for the other one, but... Oh, fuck. Pawn to Cleric 4. 
Punk cleric for. Are these? Oh, maybe I shouldn't be killing them. Maybe I shouldn't be killing these. I think it's too late at this point. Because I already killed one, but... You are a, uh, tiefling. I don't know, maybe I should be doing, uh, non-lethal. Let's, let's give it a try. Ow. What was that? Curse of Regret. Okay, so this is some sort of unique ability. Okay, you're a healer. So, Ash, um... I still want to take this one out, but I think I'm going to save my spells because we're, we're going to ha actually have to deal with Auntie Ethel. So let's... Weapon damage there. Good. Miss. Darn. Okay, you don't actually want to kill us, but... Ah! Christ! You're, uh... Oh, I don't want to use any more of these, but I kind of... I kind of have to. I could use another tier 2 spell. I don't have any tier 2 spells, like, good ones, I should say. I could try and sleep you. Maybe that would work. 24 hit points? I could just sleep you. Alright. See ya. That's actually pretty useful. Good job, Gale. Um, Shadowheart, can you get up there? I'm not gonna make it? Okay. Um... Carlac's going that way. Shadowheart's gonna go this way. Why are you so slow? Can't get there. Right, then just get somewhere. There we go. Alright, hit him with a uh, firebolt. 30% only. Okay, so that one's got some sort of defensive buff up. I don't know what it is. Uh, Boon of Servitude. That's probably what it is. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Alright. Poor fucker. Poor fucker. <laughs> Uh, Reckless Attack, I don't think that one's going to be very, um, melee capable. That one's asleep. Poison Bomb. My god, we are actually... Okay. We're taking some serious damage here. Alright, uh, uh... Gotta take this one out. Miss. Darn it. Gag, nab it. Miss. Not good. And it's healing. But now the Boon of Servitude is done. Okay, we're getting our, uh... Okay, Gale is down. That's not good. Uh, so we gotta go and, uh... Drop a heal on Gale. Shadowheart. Then I think Shadowheart's gonna try and close in here. Gotta get in combat. Alright, seven damage is okay. Carlax. Oh, no, Gale's, Gale's turn here. Uh, healing potion. All you can do. Uh, just get away a little bit. You can pull back. Alright, please make that one die. Or at least make it unconscious. Okay, it didn't quite work. That one's still asleep. Yeah, I know. Okay, eight damage is good. Even better, down to one health. Are you unconscious? You are not quite unconscious. Hopefully, Shadowheart can manage. Cast Terror on Karlak. Okay. Karlak's now frightened. That's not good. Gale? Yeah, I know. It's uh, it's not ideal. I don't think Firebolt is going to uh, be non-lethal, but at this point we're in a we're in a rough spot. Sorry. Okay, you're not dead anyways. Okay, Karlak, beat that one up. Knock him unconscious. All right, knocked out. Good. We can take another Whispering Mask. Some studded leather armor. Hey, studded leather armor. That's new. Light armor. That's actually kind of good. So, oh, you you just died. To keep going. We took the mask off and you died. Put him. That's uh, concerning. Okay. Looking at what you have, I'm not poisonous slime bulb. Cool stuff. Heavy stones. Faded notes. Let's quickly read that. Read this every morning. Remember, she is not your friend. She is not your family. Do not eat the food unless she is watching. Do not drink the tea unless she is watching. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. The word lies is written in large, thick letters across the rest of the text. Okay. Incoming. 
Well, it seems like we've at least spared one of them. We might be able to spare the other one. That one's uh, about to uh, cause me some problems. I am still poisoned. I'm going to chug an antidote. Oh, am I? No, I'm no longer poisoned. Never mind. But I can, uh, I can jump. Actually, climb up to here. Get up onto those knotted roots. Spelled with a K. You gotta pronounce that K. I'm a writer. I know these things. All right, let's fuck them up. Or we can critical miss. That's cool too. That was the other option that I had in mind. All right, next up is uh, Gale. You're gonna actually. Death okay, for some reason it didn't. Uh... Centurion of God. Do I need to use a, a level two? I, I need you out of here. Like that is good mirror image, but I feel like that's a waste at this point in the battle. I'm just gonna marble. Then we're going to try and get into some modicum of cover. We're gonna get into there. Okay, it's not skipping to the next character, so that's, uh, strange. Not sure why it would randomly do that. No, not not that one. I need, uh, I need dash. There's no hot key for dash, which I feel like is a missed opportunity. Let's, uh, let's get over here. Close in. We can fight you there. And, uh, we'll drop a... Oh, that's gonna provoke an attack of opportunity. Let's actually not do that. Yeah, what the fuck is this? Why is everything uh, being stuck on the character? <laughs> if you guys have any ideas. Wow! Alright. Good job, Carlac. Are we out of turn-based mode? Yeah? Can I actually... Oh, now I'm Ash. Okay. Wooden shield? It's like a different wooden shield than the ones we had. Club? I don't think we need that. Uh, where's the other one? We already grabbed everything from you. Did we already loot this one? The one back here? Where is the one back there? Is this one the Mask of Vengeance? I don't know. I think we looted this one. No, we did not. Studded leather armor? I'll take it. No, oh, Warhammer. Give that to Carlac. Uh, we're gonna leave the masks. That one's dead anyways. I guess we can take the mask. And sell it to some poor unsuspecting fools. Yeah, very sorry. Um, I'm assuming we can't resurrect you. What am I to do? Let's just give it a try. No. I don't think yeah, we can actually know, use man. resurrection scrolls on anything other than party members, which is uh which is dumb. So we are uh kinda messed up here. Let's see what you are. I don't think we need to uh, be sneaking anymore. But we can also probably toggle off non lethal damage by this point. And, uh, okay, we are messed up. I don't have any... No, I do have... I got two short rests. I'm gonna take one. Gale is just gonna be a bit damaged. Let's get on with it. Uh, I could drop a heal on Gale. Or I can use a level... Is that a level two? That is a level two. It would do a lot of healing to everybody, but uh, let's hold off on that. On my mind. Now where do we go? In it. Don't waste a step. This looks like it could be a passage you can slip through. Or it could just be a crack in the wall. That's also possible. Pouch. Hmm. Raw steak, send it to camp. Simple toxin. Uh, actually, give that to uh, Shadowheart. She can coat her mace in toxin, because that's how maces work. So we gotta figure out where to go. We got another swarming toadstool here and a wicker chest. I'll take the wicker chest. Where are you at? Oh, really, where is it? Huh? I fucking legit saw a wicker chest here. There we go. Alright, that's... Ah, it's here. I see. Potion of speed. I'm giving that to Carlac this time. And, uh, I'm gonna split these. Or not. Or I'm gonna send them to camp. Wrong button. Fuck. <laughs> okay, this has gotta be the way. Noxious fumes. Cool. Um... Well, let's, let's go through the waterfall. Can't get here. I call bullshit. Ooh. There's more. It, wait, this is where we came from. Right? No, it is not. That is something else. I don't think we're supposed to be able to see that right now, so let's just pretend we can't. Um, can we jump through here? We can jump through here. Hopefully this works. Uh-oh. Am I alone? Can everybody else get through? 
Surely everyone else can get through. Okay, so we got some noxious fumes here, and we failed some perception rolls. You guys surprise. not Caution is warranted run into that? That is a vent. Okay, so if I throw something onto the vent, that should clog it up, right? What do we throw onto the vent? Maybe some leather armor? That'll work, right? Let's throw some leather armor onto the vent. Yeah. And away I go. It worked. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fine. Better be careful not to trigger that thing. Peculiar flower. Yeah. Let's uh, not trigger that thing. We'll move very slowly. Not trust anything. Where's Auntie Ethel? There's more toxic hell over there. We can actually sneak past. Okay. So if we sneak past, we're going to come very close to this. So I'd actually like to disarm this. I will use a trap disarm kit. We're going to have to buy some. Oh my fucking lord. There's a lot of them. Okay, pass. Good. Split the group for a second, because, uh, oh boy. So that one's done. We did not detect those for some reason. You have good perception, right? Okay, well, we saw at least one of them. I'm just not taking any chances, which is why I'm disarming them rather than just avoiding them. Uh, I think we're gonna be fine here, so I'm gonna run up this way, and I'm gonna throw something. Oh god. Failed to spot something. Wonderful. What can we throw onto the next vent? Um, probably something that's not very expensive, that's big. We can throw some destitute clothing. No, I want to keep my destitute clothing. We can throw some scuffy vagabond clothing. How about that? Uh, where's the vent? Oh, really, where is it? Let's see it. This is one of the flowers. I wonder if there's another way to get rid of this. If there's like a... You can use a wind spell. Maybe like the, the sonic boom or whatever the fuck it's called. Okay, I cannot see where this thing is. Uh, let's move Shadowheart up to here. Okay, that's not who I clicked on, but cool. What's next, I wonder? This way. At the ready. Yeah, you really have to like click hard forth. on the characters. Wow. Otherwise it doesn't work. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, you're still here? Let's go. This game's pathing, man. It, this is a wonderful game. It is absolutely amazing, but dear lord, this pathing. Right. What now? <laughs> what did I just fail on a perception Time check? Like, how many fucking things am I not seeing here? What trap? Down there? More noxious fumes. Hold on. Can we see the vent? That is a vent. That is a vent that I can throw some vagabond clothing on. <laughs> Wonderful. Love All that down right. there. Sweet deal. And two traps. Great. As for here, I don't think there's actually a vent here. This is just no noxious fumes. Maybe the trap is doing it. But we can now at the very least drop down. Shadowheart, can you uh faith will guide me? Spot them. Onward. Ever onward. Best avoid that trap. Yeah, no shit. Let's drop down right here. Question is, yeah, we do need to go this way. This is gonna actually get us down there. What the fuck? Okay, I only took one damage from that, but... Really? You what? walk over the trap to disarm the trap. Oh no. Fucking goddammit. Can we, uh... Oh man, this is obnoxious. There's no time to waste. Cool. Let's use a healing spell. I may actually try and do a uh, other healing spell. Okay, so the question is, we have decent vantage up here, except I don't think there's gonna be an enemy down there, so. Right Let's with magic. Move you down here. Nasty yeah, we see it. Portion is warranted here. Yeah, no shit. Let's jump you down there. And Carlax gonna Damn, jump down as well. The trap. Yeah, Time right. We see them at least. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. No, no, no. Started a conversation. I had another dream. Oh. 
Which, I suppose, means you did as well. Whoever's reaching out to us truly does seem opposed to the Absolute, but wants us to embrace the Tadpole. <laughs> Venture right into the heart of the cult. Perhaps we truly have a secret protector. Or we're walking into a trap. First off, if this stops me in my tracks where I'm walking with the idiot pathing, thank you, Shadowheart. Uh, also, maybe now's not the time, but... Uh, I'm in agreement. Yeah, I reckon we have a 50-50 chance of this being a trap with the Dream Protector or not. Okay, moving you up. A long way to go still. Please tell me you can just move through there. Thank you. Carlac, you move this way. All right, we are out of the water for that when it comes to that trap. Still breathing. It's uh, everything. annoying that I have to do this this way, but this is how it is. Step okay, so we've spotted that one. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to actually disarm this one because I don't... Ugh. This fucking game. I swear to God. Um, can I just... No? I feel like I should be able to do that. My face protects me. Onward. Okay, we'll let Shadowheart find it. Best avoid that okay, trap. now can I blow it up from a distance? That'd be great. Maybe that's the better way of doing this. Yeah, I think this is the better way of doing it. Fuck you. Yeah. Mm. I don't know why I was wasting trap disarm kits. Got to keep moving. Okay. What do we got in here? We have ourselves a trap. That, I guess I can now blow up, right? And that's going to turn the shit off. I don't know if this one's spreading the uh, toxin, but... It, it, it is gone. Now the question is... What's next? How the hell do we get through here? Let me work my magic. Yes. This place is horrible. Attention! If you insist. Made infinitely worse by the fact that... I'm ready. Whatever it takes. You know. Okay, so... No way to get through that. I guess we can technically skirt or... Trump. Nope, we cannot skirt around it. Okay. It looked like we could, but that was not the case. I'm gonna throw a whisker, whispering, whis, whiskering. How much do you sell for? Fifteen. We probably shouldn't be selling these to people. Let's uh, throw a mask on there. Should turn that off. Good. What the hell is this? Standing torch. What to do? Where are we? All right. Um, let's actually get the party back into group mode temporarily. Just move up to right here. Okay, I would like to... Can we... Jesus! Where are you guys going? Okay, so spacebar does not actually stop your party from moving. It does stop your character from moving, sometimes. Doesn't seem to always work, though. Okay. Uh, untoggle group mode. Whatever comes, I'm ready. You! I want to deactivate you, but maybe it doesn't matter. I think we can just cross over here. Still alive, so that's progress. Move up there. I'm gonna move Shadowheart up here no too. So you actually have some perception. Up down. Okay. At least things Bring are everyone. still interesting. All right. I don't like that noise. Not one bit. Up here, anything? Trap with knotted roots. Leading up to somewhere. Something. Did we drop down here? No, we could not drop down here because there was this presumably a vent. That must be another way down. So it seems like there's two ways down. If you're able to actually spot that vent, you can use that way to maybe take a shortcut. I don't know. This looks sketchy. Um, I think this is going to be the fight. So... Okay. That was necessary. Not as bad as it could have. Save. I'm not doing this ever again. Where are you, Auntie Ethel? There's Marina. I think. Gnarled cage. Can I just break that? Alright, let's look what's under it before we... Yeah, we probably shouldn't break that. Um... We need to get her out somehow. There, in the cage. What do we have here? 
let's uh just uh just environment leave me here she wants to be left here my better be careful not to trigger that thing yeah thank you for noticing gail bye more of these goddamn peculiar flowers stop it all of you well too late now hi you come to my home interfere in my business and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair you petulant bollocks I'll rip your spine out your asshole! I'll use your blood to spice my stew! I'll keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your bones! Look, that's gonna be... Then I'll bring you back and do it all over again! Alright. Just get out of here! Please! Uh-oh. Too late. You want the girl. Oh shit. Uh, so the cage is on fire? That's not good. Um, and where, where the fuck did Ethel go? Oh, Ethel's over here. Ethel's fucking fast. Jesus. Pretty spry for a, uh, old lady. Ow! Oh! Oh! Cool! It's a lot of Auntie Ethels. That cage won't last. So, which one's the real one? There's four of them. So she just mirror image, but it's like ultra mirror image. That cage won't last. Do I have like water? I, I, I'm pretty sure I got some water. We got some water. What if we, uh, what if we throw some water at the cage? It goes nothing. Is that gonna do it? It doesn't seem to be on fire anymore. So, yes, I guess. Okay, you are kind of fucked up at this point, but we're going to um, actually drop a speed potion. Now is the time. <laughs> and uh, that was our bonus action. We do have an extra action. Could drop a scroll of blur. I think I'm going to drop a scroll of blur so that I don't die here. All right, I'm not blurry. Hit me now, bitch. Well, uh, let's get up here. Maybe we can threaten her in melee. Although, I don't know if that's a very good idea. She's probably better in melee than I am. Still breathing, <laughs> everything. Okay, uh, Carlac. Carlac, what are you doing? Uh, you're damaged. But we got an Auntie Ethel up here that's up to no good. Probably. Do we frenzy? Gain. Okay, can make an improvised weapon attack as a bonus action. Let's, uh, let's run this way. And then I want to throw something at that Auntie Ethel. If it's a mirror image, maybe it'll just dissolve. Let's throw this poisonous bulb. I don't know if that's actually going to do any damage to her. She's probably immune to poison, but... Got yeah, it. never know. <laughs> okay, it's gone. Alright, so you just... Disappear them. Um... I'm not going to chug the other potion just yet. Gale is up here. Now, I have a solution to this Auntie Ethel problem. And it involves magic missiling both of them. Can we get the other one? Ah, too far. Damn it. Well then, oh, I can still hit two of them. Now, which one's probably the real one? I'm guessing that one's the real one. Uh, did I just... I just fucking magic missile myself, didn't I? No, that's the real one. Shit. Okay. What should I do? Concerning. Uh, all right. Heavy. Shadowheart. If you would kindly. Uh, she's poisoned. She is blurred. She is hastened. Can you, uh... Oh, we have a smoke powder barrel. How far can we throw a smoke powder barrel? Can we actually give this to, uh... If we give it to somebody else, you uh, can switch good. inventory as a, uh, Can't free action. I... I call a bit bullshit on that, but in this case, it's in my advantage, so I'll take it. <laughs> so, let's uh, drop a heal on Ash so that she doesn't die, because that is not the illusionary Auntie Ethel. That is the real Auntie Ethel, which is worrying. Um, got an extra action here. What can I do? Some spells? Um, blinder. 45% chance of success? 
It's not great. It's not great at all. Or can throw a smoke powder satchel. To try and do some damage to her. I, I don't know, I think we're better off actually trying to blind her. Blind it! Fuck yes! Fantastic. Well done, Shadowheart. Hey, your cage is not on fire anymore. And we got more bottles of water in case they light it back on fire. Okay, Gale has been held. That's a problem. But I think that's an illusion, so all we need to do is hit that illusion once. <laughs> okay, that hurt. Alright, alright. Okay, uh... Hui. Um... Phantasmal Force deals damage to a creature each turn. It's level 2 Warlock spell slot, or I try and just pack her with the Dissonant Whispers. Do 46 Psychic Damage. Might... Yeah, that's not, not a high chance. That's a 60% chance of getting that going. Let's do it. Ah, Blur is a concentration. Of course it is. It did work, though. So... As long as I'm not breaking my concentration, I can now try something else. I'm going to save my uh, other spell here for an Arms of Adar. I might try a uh, Scorching Ray. Three hits. Oh, uh, it was fake. You're the real one. But I hit you. Uh, I must have actually hit myself. Uh, that pisses me off with the... Uh... need to find a way forward. How easy it is to uh, misclick. Okay, well that's a critical miss. At least we know which one's real now. Um, ah. Covered. Okay. If you can jump over there, hopefully you won't fall prone. Can we get to a slightly closer area? No. All right, you're gonna have to do that and hopefully not drop. All right, good job. Um. Could throw the smoke barrel. That would be a big boom. Might just do it. Whoops. So, I guess we have to ignite that. Gale, can we uh, get you back on your feet? You. And then, kind of heart. You can just, I don't know. Didn't ignite the smoke powder, even though the smoke powder is like all around her. That's uh, always be a gentleman. A little janky, but okay. What's what's she gonna do? I mean, you're probably not doing anything in that cage. I don't know how to get you down either. Whose turn is it? Yeah, you want us to stop for some reason. I don't think you're acting in your own self-interest, though. Because, uh, we know that Auntie Ethel is capable of, uh, screwing with people's thoughts. Okay, can, can somebody actually go? Are we spending this much time on her screaming some stuff at us? Ah, we're stuck on an end turn, aren't we? Why, why are you... That, weird. Never mind. Yeah, so some of our characters seem to get, like, stuck. Damsel in distress. Oh, good. Oh, she's no longer in the cage. Fucking hell. There's two of them. Uh, she's only got, like, eight health. Is there, like... Oh, no. Uh... Can we examine? Here. Okay. Uh... Ag's trickery? What is this? Is this Ethel or an illusion? Thank you, that doesn't tell me very much. What about the other one? Axe trickery. Hold on. Yeah, you're threatened by me. You're pregnant. You are not. You have alert, dark vision. Do you have dark vision? No. Hmm, I wonder which one's the real one here. Um, <laughs> blaster. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna try and move away from her. We're gonna move up to here. I'm gonna get the high ground. So I don't want to be standing right next to her in case something explodes. You need to not be standing in the smoke powder right now. That'd be great. 
Don't want to get you killed. All right, it's a little bit more damage, and we'll get a, uh, a Thorn Whip as well. Fantastic. Oh, good damage. Is she prone? No, it just knocked her over. But she just gets back up instantaneously. That's a shame. Let's cut your fire, baby. All right, it's time. Let's frenzy that up. Barbarian Rage. Let's go. Get her good. Uh, what can we do? We can do a lacerate on her. Let's give her a lacerate. Show him who you are. Reckless attack. Uh, don't do a reckless attack. So that affects it, but the other thing does not. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? So I shot a firebolt directly into there. While Auntie Ethel was just there, it did not ignite the smoke powder, but her with her flaming sword swinging through the smoke powder ignites the smoke powder. Well, Marina is now dead, and I'm a little bit upset at the game, because um, that, I feel like, is not on me. Ah, bullshit. All right, let's just continue on. I could load, but I'm not gonna. I just want to kill Auntie Ethel at this point. I'm very sorry, Marina. I doubt we can resurrect you, because the resurrection mechanic is, uh, you know... It is the way it is. I'll stop harping about it. Have to keep Probably. Going. Harping? No. Uh, complaining about it. Death. Yeah, do it. Not yet. Where are you going? Okay. Not today. Frenzied Strike? We can do an Enraged Throw as a, uh, a half action. What can we throw at her? We could throw a Great Axe at her. 20% only. What about, uh, what about like a, a Meat Cleaver? Only 20% as well. That's not very good. What's your problem? Vicious Mockery? Disadvantage on the next attack roll. That's, that's the problem. Actually, I think we can use the, uh, the throw to try and, uh, Chew that up. You can do that. You can basically do that as a bonus action, and now you can just attack her regularly. Nice, that actually hit. Okay. Um, yeah, not much to be done about Marina, I'm afraid. Why don't you throw this at Gale? Uh, he is standing in fire, but I'd rather he have a lot of health so that he can actually take some damage without dying. And I guess we're going to uh, loot her, because she's dead. Thanks, game. You jump over here. Just hide in the corner for now. Okay. You're invisible, and you have an illusion. Are you the only illusion? Seems to be. So, we saw, like, the voices were coming from right down here, it seems. Oh, wait, we can summon Scratch as a companion? Okay. And has Phantasmal Force actually been doing anything on her? I don't think so. Uh, we still technically have Phantasmal Force. So maybe it is? I, I don't know. Let's just blast this with a, uh... Missed. Cool. Can we get there and do that? Not enough movement. I, I can move up to here, so I'm pretty sure I can get enough movement. Yeah, that's what I thought. You used an opportunity attack on me. So you're you're nearby. Um, so we need to hit her with a uh, an explosive of some kind. Acid vial? Can't throw anymore. Well, let's at least dispel this illusion, because it seems like the illusions can actually hurt me, so... We can uh, hit that. It'll be gone. Yeah, there you are. Not that it's gonna do you any good right now. Um, so we can do an enraged throw. What can we throw at you? Let's throw a pitchfork at her. <laughs> I love it. And she's prone. All right. Miss. Damn it, Carlac. Roll in my favor. All right. Level two spell slot. As much damage in as possible. All right, 16 damage. I think we're, think we're going to actually kill her. Um, that can daze her as well. Do it. Give her the bonk. 
Nice bonk. And she's dazed. Getting Wait. back up. Uh, wait Ooh. just a tick. Parlaying, huh? Killing me is a waste of time. I'll find a way to return. Always have, always will. But it's unpleasant. So how about we be civilized about this? Mm -hmm. I have something you want. It's Shadowheart. Shadowheart's gonna be snarky. Ha, huh, this should be good. If you're gloating now, just wait till you hear my offer, Petal. Oh, yeah. I can give you power. Anything you want. You want to be stronger, tougher, smarter. Done. Just let me go. Plus one to an ability Poisoned score. Deal. Trust me. Don't believe a word she says. Yeah. Carlac would have experience What'll on this. What will it be, Petal? I'll pay in your blood as I offer your death up in prayer? Fuck yeah. Well, that doesn't sound very hygienic. <laughs> no, please don't actually do that. Your <laughs> Tell your precious little god I say hello after I rip out your throat. We'll see about that. You Happy missed. Happy to tell everyone so but your own, aren't you? Down she goes. Auntie Ethel is dead. Corellin's Grace. Tarnished Charm. Some more poisonous slime blobs. Makes it easier for the wearer to succeed in death saving throws. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's send this to camp. Uh, we'll give this to Karlak. Everyone leveled up except for Gale, so I guess the XP is not actually in an equal uh, point. Animal Carcass, you got anything? A Sylvan Stone. Alright. Um, we'll have Karlak pick That's up the Great game. Axe. It's fun throwing shit at her. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pissed that uh, Marina just died from that, but uh, so this was all for nothing. That's cool. I mean, the amulet's cool, and we got some experience, but let's level up Shadowheart. But that's how it goes, you know? These games, uh, sometimes this shit happens. I suppose I could have realized it, it, it might have happened. It's just like, when it didn't happen, maybe it, maybe it even happened before, at like a, a different stage in the game. But I, I don't remember all of these little details. It's just not how my brain works. Um, and the fact that it didn't happen when Shadowheart shot a firebolt, that just uh, made me think, okay, the smoke powder is not functioning in that way. Maybe it's specifically a ground surface, which I, I can't imagine that the sword swing is hitting the ground surface because, you know, unlike in Dark Souls, you don't swing a great sword directly into the fucking ground. Never understand why they do these, like, stupid ground slam moves in video games with, with weapons. It's, uh, it's dumb. Anyways, uh, oh, we can get Revivify. Um as an actual spell for her. That could be pretty cool. Um, so we can, yeah, we can pick up some new spells. We can, I think we can drop Shield of Faith, although Shield of Faith is good. Keep Blindness, keep that. Um, ditch this, Ditch Inflict Wounds. I don't use it as much. Ditch uh, Bane as well. I don't think I'm gonna be using those. Let's make sure we have some clutch level three spells available. We got some good level twos. Got two level ones. We'll keep that as it is. We'll keep the level ones as a, uh, a protection type of thing. Protect magic? No. Um, okay, so we have Glyph of Warding. Inscribes a circle of arcane glyphs on the ground. When stepped on by an enemy, the selected magical effect will trigger. Interesting. Protection from energy. Grants resistance to one of these energy types. Okay. For a level three spells, like how much resistance is this? I always feel these protection spells usually aren't worth it. But I could be wrong. Beacon of Hope. Your allies will gain... No, this is not a Char thing. We're, we're not going to uh, do it if it's, like, very anti-Char. Char is all about not hope. So she wouldn't have that available. And this is why I'm... I'm not a fan of how clerics are designed. Uh, I wish that the magic domains that the gods had had their own unique lists of spells. And that you just got the two domains that you had as a god. Or that, that the god had. Uh, which, obviously, like, in Baldur's Gate, there aren't nearly as many magic domains, which is why I don't think I'll ever play a cleric in Baldur's Gate, because... Like, come on. You can be a cleric of Kelimvor, but there isn't even a death domain. 
And, and like, it wouldn't even be hard to add a death domain. There's, there's already some necromancy spells that aren't, you know, involved with summoning the dead. So, uh, basically how clerics work in D&D is you pick a god, and the god has two spell domains, and you pick one of those two spell domains to emphasize which aspect of the god, and then you have your universal cleric spell list, which includes, like, the vast majority of them. The, the domain spell list is really only a couple of spells, and I really feel like the domain spell list should actually be all of the spells that you get, and then you just get the spells from your god's domain Right? Like, if you play as a Cleric of Kelimvor, you will get a unique list of spells, as opposed to playing as a Cleric of Shar. If you play as a Cleric of Shar, you'll get a lot of Darkness, um, you know, Bane, that type of stuff, uh, Blindness, uh, these types of spells. Um, whereas if you're playing like a Cleric of Saloon, you might get some Light Base and some Healing. That's how I feel like it should work, that would be flavorful. Obviously, you can just pick your spell lists to work as it is, um, but the spell lists are kind of limited. Because there's quite a few that I feel like should be available, but aren't. For clerics of certain types. So, yeah. Anyways. Um, let's see what we can get. We can get up to three here. We can create food and water. We don't really need to do that. We've got a ton of uh, stuff here. I think we're going to pick Revivify. She doesn't need Speak with Dead because we have that. We can... Summon the dead. I don't know if that's a Char thing. What about life transference? Sacrifice some of your life to mend another creature's injuries, causing you to take 4 to 32 necrotic damage, and targeted creature gains hit points equal to twice the damage you take. That's really cool. Or the Spirit Shroud calls forth the spirits of the dead that flit around you. Attacks you make against creatures within 3 meters of you deal an extra 1d... 1 to 8 cold, 1 to 8 necrotic, or 1 to 8 radiant damage, and prevents them from regaining hit points. That's pretty cool. Let's take that. It's a concentration-based action. And feign death. Put an ally into a protective coma. They become resistant to all damage except psychic damage, disease, and poison have no effect. Okay. Warden of Vitality. While this aura lasts, you can restore vitality as a bonus action to heal yourself or nearby allies. That sounds really cool. We'll take that. Alright, so, that's Shadowheart. And then, uh, Harlack levels up. Yes. Level 5 Barbarian. So, that's all we get. Alright, cool. Absolutely nothing. Uh, Legacy of Avernus, Branding Smite. No, uh, no further fun stuff. Just some extra attack and fast movement. Okay, while well, not wearing heavy armor. And we're not wearing heavy armor, so... Get going. All right. Well, Auntie Ethel is dead. Marina is dead. Everyone me. is dead. What's that control orb? Oh, that probably would have lowered the cage, wouldn't it? Um, if we would have somehow been able to actually kill. Just out of curiosity, we can speak with dead on her. Can we revive a fire? I'm Always assuming shut. not. No. So, blood? she's dead. Let's talk to her, though. Oh, I want home. I'm sorry. Huh. Where are you from? Farm near Baldur's Gate. Okay. Why did you come to the tea house? Ethel, bring husband, bring back my Connor. That would not have gone you well. Return for my baby. Jesus. Did you know Ethel was a hag? Yes, but she promised. Promised to take care of everything. Oh man. What drove you to give up your child? I can't. Without Connor, I... Ethel promised. Raise the baby. Be a good mother. Do you regret anything? My fault. Everyone dead. Because of me. I'm... 
spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Okay, with her incredibly sketchy plan to bring back what I assume is husband? Maybe brother? Probably husband. She has a baby. I would assume. Um, she was going to sacrifice her unborn child. Uh, yeah. Look, you know, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm, uh, I'm pro-abortion rights in like every way, shape, and form. But this is not how you do it. This is like the extremely sketchy form of that. If that's what you wanted, no. She wanted to bring back Connor. Uh, I won't make jokes about that. That's uh, a very serious issue that, uh, in certain parts of the world, is pretty fucking bad. Uh, at least uh, where I live, it's fine. Anyways, uh, she was going to trade her unborn child for the life of Connor. That was not going to go well. We saw what Auntie Ethel did to fulfill the wishes. So Connor probably would have come back as, like, a zombie or something. This this wasn't going to go well for you. Oh, I could go for a good you meal. meant well? Carlac, if we can bring her back to her farm near Baldur's Gate, I don't know if that's something we can do, but let's at least try. We can We can bring her home. We'll try and do the right thing. Shame she died. But, uh... Man! Now where? Where are we? What do we got in here? This is this is her lab? This is probably trapped to oblivion. Let's save. Before I run in there. Okay. Maybe I'll need more pockets. Pig's heads. This place is fucked up. There's just flesh, bones, blood everywhere. Letter from Ethel to who? Blotches of ink are spattered across this unfinished letter written in an uneven scrawl. Dearest sister, are you feeling all right, Petal? I can't believe you let some pup give you the slip. I'd be mortified. Worry not, my red cap snapped the bugger. They're taking their sweet time with him. The screaming stopped a few nights past, but the sobbing continues. He'll be he'll die regretting he crossed a hand. A mother with a failing mind. You know me so well. I'm the most darling mask for him. You must be coming to visit. Or you must come to visit. Okay. But apparently she didn't finish it. And this is written in elegant cursive. Ethel from M. Ethel, I've heard business has been slow. Rest assured, I have a job for you. A client fled Baldur's Gate without payment. My agents picked up his trail along Chiantar, along the Chiantar, and have ensured he will pass through your territory. Do as you wish with him. In exchange, I have a girl who suits your particular appetites. Her mother's mind is failing. My contract has assured her you can help. I'll have her sent by the usual route. Okay, so they have a whole fucking scheme going on here. The ever-seeing eye. That. The ever-seeing eye. Protection from good against... No, from prote protection from good and evil. Alright. Maybe we can give this to Shadowheart. You don't have an amulet, do you? Yeah, you do. You have the, uh... The Absolute's Aid Talisman. Actually, we're gonna give you the ever-seeing eye instead. I'm gonna give the Absolute's Aid Talisman to Gale. Then he can have a little bit of extra hit points. And we also have, um, this, the Tarnished Charm. Makes it easier to succeed against Making death saving sweat. throws. I guess I'm just gonna give this to, uh, Karlak. Still breathing. I mean, we did get some good magic breathing. items. Bitter Divorce, what are you? Some magic wand? Something? Clumps of hair and flesh stick out from the twisted roots of this up the shaft of the wand. Connor is scratched on the surface. Cast spell, oh god. There's a heavy chest. Okay, so we can actually cast a spell with that wand? That's going to resurrect Connor. There's a mushroom circle. Gold band, silver band, copper. Lots of rings. Alright, I mean, it's money. Lost time? What the fuck? Drink? Fine. I'm gonna drink it. 
Armor class is reduced by two. Can't take reactions. Cool. Glad I drunk that. Butterflies in the stomach. <laughs> Missing pets. <laughs> Wilted dreams. I'm not gonna drink the rest of these. Mother's loathing. Lover's avarice. Insanity's kiss. Just random earthen bottle. Heart of stone. That one might actually be good. No, it's probably gonna turn my heart into stone. Broken promises. <laughs> Wicker chest. Elixir of arcane cultivation. Ah, good. Gain an additional level one spell slot. Give that to Gale. Potion of speed. I'll give that to uh, Shadowheart, actually. There might be some use for her to have that. And I'll take these two healing potions. And potion of animal speaking, because I'll be doing most of that. Staff of Crones. Let's take this. What is it? Staff of Crones. Uh, does it just grant Ray of Sickness? Like... So, do I now just have... I can just use this. Without... Ah, once per short rest. Ah, shit, yeah. I mean... That's 2d8 damage. Is that better than Eldritch Blast? No, actually, so... Let's not use that. Let's give that to Gale. I'm keeping my glaive. Get my bonus action. You can have the Staff of Crones. What do you have right now? Nature's Snare. Yeah, that's a melee thing. Uh, we're not going to uh, have that. Now you can use a uh, Ray of Sickness. No, that's pretty no good. Uh, so we have a Mushroom Circle here. Uh, we can use that for something. Keep going. But we can also cast the spell that's in the wand. I'm assuming it's not going to be good. But let's, let's see what happens. Let's quick save again. Can't use reactions. Lost time. Yeah, I know. Uh, um, where is this goddamn thing? First off, what does it sell for? A hundred. If I use this, I probably can't sell it. I think this is just going to bring back Connor in whatever fucked up manner that it's actually going to bring him back in. So you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to sell it. Somebody else can do it. <laughs> Somebody else can be responsible for whatever's going to happen. Now, the next logical course of action is step into the sketchy mushroom circle. What could possibly go wrong? Maybe it just teleports us out of here. I hope it just teleports us out of here. Alright, nice. Okay, so confirmed. The... Ah. Walking on air. Karlak is inspired because we used some sort of planar jaunt? Maybe? Hmm, huh. interesting. Um... Yeah. I think we can leave this place. This was, uh, actually, let's quickly check the tea house and make sure there's nothing else going on in here. And we should talk to the guy and tell him Auntie Ethel is dead. Maybe he'll stop searching for, uh, for Asterion. We also need to warn Asterion that somebody's searching for him. Because in this case, I don't think it's actually Asterion's fault. I think he's getting blamed for the actions of other vampires. Let's talk with him. Um, I also feel like doing a short rest before we do that, just in case this guy decides to attack us. Go ahead. Possible. The lady of the house awaits. No, she does not. And there's nothing we can say here. Um, and neither of these options are uh, what I would like. The thing is, if we bring Asteria in here, we might be able to defuse the situation. Anything of use? Because I can then say Asteria is with me. And I know that he didn't go out and do the things that he did, unless it happened before. I kind of want to do it just to see what happens. So we're going to head back to camp. We're going to get Asteria in. I think we're going to... Uh temporarily who do I take out of the party I think Gale very sorry Gale there's no way to just uh no I've been dreaming of our enigmatic visitor yeah. again she told me our purpose was to take on this cult of the absolute 
to infiltrate its ranks and bring it down from the inside. She even offered me greater powers. The result of some manipulation of the tadpole's psionic abilities. What did we learn from Given last the time? Given the magnitude of what we're up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. Could be the only way to reach this source in one piece. Cautiously. That remains to be seen. I still don't trust this dream visitor's intentions. Or our tadpoles are part of the problem, not a solution. We shouldn't rely on them or their powers. I admire the vigor with which you uphold your principles. But I would remind you that the evils of the Absolute are far greater than any moral compromise we might make by using our tadpoles full potential. What about the road your to hell? Your confidence in our existing capabilities is quite rousing, though. Perhaps that spirited enthusiasm will be strength enough to subdue the cult when the time comes. We could also just blow up the cult, as we did last time. All right, remain in camp for a while. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meet. All right, let's get a Starian. He might have leveled up too. And I might bring Lazelle. I had another visit yeah. from that dream figure. I take it you did too. It claims that if we infiltrate the heart of the cult that's giving out these parasites, we'll find the answers we're looking for. It gave me another gift, too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous, if you ask me. I don't like it. This whole thing feels like a trap. Hmm. On the one hand, you're right. On the other, don't be so wet behind the ears. Did you actually want something, or are you just here to spoil my fun? Um, damn it. I need to keep a stash of rotten tomatoes so that I can throw them at a Well, hello. <laughs> what can I do for you? Uh, I met a monster hunter in the swamp. He was looking for you. What? Who? What happened? He wanted to capture you and bring you back to Baldur's Gate. Or he was a gur named Gandral. What's a gur? A gur? What are those vagabonds? Why would they... Cazador. <laughs> of course he'd send a gur to hunt me down. And who is Cazador exactly? Or why? What's so special about the gur people? First, they make excellent monster hunters. So find a vampire spawn... Sounds perfectly reasonable to okay, me. So... Second, they're the reason I'm like this in the first place. It was a group of Gur that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. Hmm. I would have died had Cazador not appeared and saved me. Why did they attack you? Saved you by turning you into a vampire slave? Yeah, obviously. You can't hold every Gur responsible for what happened to you. I think you'll find I can. And there's nothing your bleeding heart can do to change my mind. God, I want to slap him. Okay, uh, so he just appeared when you needed him? Sounds convenient. Maybe. Maybe he was just drawn to the smell of blood. The point is, I have history with these barbarians. Cazador's sending a message. He's reminding me of his power. Even in the middle of nowhere, he can reach me. And he wants me back. Um, how concerned should we be? We just have to be vigilant. Keep our wits about us. And kill any monster hunters on sight. Okay. Darling, lead on. All right. I hope you're not going to kill this one. But let's see what happens. Um... Ugh. Okay. Uh, do you actually have anything to say about the dream visitor? Another visit from the Golden Paladin. It said we'll get the answers we need about the tadpole if we infiltrate the cult. I'm not sure. We can use these tadpoles for good. Before extracting them, it could be worth it. No, this feels like a trap. I don't think we should indulge this dream visitor at all. Agreed. A bit of shiny armor doesn't impress me that much. I don't want to get taken in by a pretty offer and pay the price later on. 
Okay. Uh, no, you'll 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 be fine uh, where you are. Let's see what Lazel has to say about this. She's probably not a fan. Another dream. Another order from that dubious visitor. It announced that we will find the answers we seek in the Absolute Cultist's lair, and offered another generous gift. A persuasive creature. It tempts us with power, expresses its admiration, its adoration. Avert your eyes whenever it appears, and do not avail yourself of this new power, no matter how alluring. You've no idea what damage it could do to us. How far into illithid madness it could drag us. Yeah. Um, we can use this skill? No. Um, I think the dream figure was right? No. I distrust this visitor too. I'll avoid using this power. Well chosen. Battles are won with swords, not mind games born of brain worms. And there will come a battle. Of that I'm most certain. The one truth that fell out of the dream figure's cankered lips. Alright, um... These dreams linger in my memory. Do you think this strange figure will come back? It is a certainty. Yeah. I had assumed our parasite served a Geich elder. But I believe they serve a greater master still. The absolute. Elders. Uh... Doesn't sound like something I want to encounter, or... The Absolute is this master, I'm sure of it. Probably. That's what I'm thinking. Perhaps. Absolute may be a mere pseudonym behind which this master hides. Yeah, I mean, Whatever that's this voice, probably true. whomever this master, it dominates dreams and unites minds. Yeah. Yeah, a bit concerning. Uh, all right, we're going to leave her. Let's ask uh, Will. What do you think about I this? I had another dream last night. The visitor came to me and ordered me to penetrate the heart of the very cult that's spreading the infection. It gave me a tadpole gift, too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. I suppose it hoped this would help. At first, I thought we should avoid these gifts no matter what advantage we gain. And yet... I can't help recall the words of my father. The best plan is the one that works. These powers could be enough to edge us towards victory. Well, need I remind you of where your last bargain ended you up? I'd sooner avoid these powers if I can. I feel like we're being led into a trap. Then we do well to walk around it. Use these powers sparingly, if you must use them at all. Yeah. Yeah, like that. That's that's slightly more reasonable. All right, let's uh let's depart. I'm not going to rest right now. Let's uh oh no, we are resting right now. Are we resting right now? End the day. All I can do is end the day. I can't leave camp, can I? I can leave camp. All right. So we're gonna go say hi to this uh, Gur Hunter and see what happens. I'm hoping we can resolve this peacefully and convince this Gur Hunter that. Uh, Asterion is not the droid he's looking for, but we'll see how this goes. Maybe this is going to result in the hunter's death, but at that point, at least the hunter is off our trail. Into a mind flare might have its perks. At least then I could float over this ugh, muck. <laughs> You're up here, right? No, that's the tea house. Where the hell are you? You're up this way. I can no longer remember. And people with a little bit of grit. Where this guy is. Should be on the map. That's the tea house. That's the un wait, what? Go to the underdark through the secret entrance. Uh no, we know where the secret entrance is. That is a uh that is a lie. And the hunter is not here anymore. That's that's what I'm getting out of this. Let's let's quickly check to our custom marker. That's our custom marker. Yeah, is here. This is where he was. He was standing in front of this thing. Let's quickly head back up here. Yeah, he is still here. All right. Okay, let's see what happens. This may be a uh, rough fight. Obviously, I'm not going to load if it goes into a fight. This guy, uh, Gandral, 
We need to confront this. You tracked me down again, my friend. Would that I had as much luck with the beast I'm hunting. You're a monster hunter. I'm surprised. I thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats. Um. I knew you were a jackass, but a racist. I'm shocked. Your friend has just heard the rumors of my people that we steal chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. Um, oh, this is weird. This changes the entire thing. Um, <laughs> if I were a cutthroat, I wouldn't admit it either. <laughs> True. And I have no proof to offer but my word. If you wish it, our paths need not cross again. I'm hunting a vampire spawn, and it's a little too bright for you to be my prey. His name is Astarian, but I fear he's gone to ground. I was hoping the hag of these lands could help me flush him out, but it seems she is no more. Um... And when you find this Astarian, you'll kill him? Not this time. My orders are to capture him. Oh. Uh, and bring him where, exactly? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. Yeah, this dialogue is a little, uh, screwed up. Unfortunately. Um... If I just give up Asterion... Ah, oh, man. This didn't go as I think it would. May your road be... Alright, I was thinking he'd recognize it. Let's, uh, let's not. I'm not going to, uh, just give up Asterion like that. So we're not going to do that. Now, um, let's see, where are we at? We are at the, uh, I think the ending point of this episode. So I will do one actual rest, so we're going to do a proper long rest right now. And then, once we are fully rested and get all of our spell slots back, we are going to uh, end the episode, and then in the subsequent episode, we are going to actually make our way down into the Underdark. So I think we're more or less done here. We can, of course... Try and finish up the null business. But I'm a little concerned about the null business. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Ooh, no, there's Gale. Always with Gale. Gale always wants to talk. No one else wants to. Mistra, huh? Looks like Mistra. That spell of yours is attracting mosquitoes. <laughs> oh. My. You startled me. I, uh... It's miles away. Uh, what figure you conjured? Is she? Someone you miss? Yeah, it's Mr. for sure. Someone I miss, and... Lost, I suppose. Mistra commands all magic. Salvation, if such a thing exists, is hers to bestow or withhold. And yet even now, more than I fear losing my own self and soul, I fear losing my command of her art. Magic is... my life. I've been in touch with the Weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Would you like to experience this? Um, yeah. Then follow my lead. Now you. Arcana, imitate the gesture as slowly and precisely as you can. Yeah, we're not going to sleight of hand this. Awesome. I'm a master wizard already. <laughs> hey, it worked. You 
feel something strange, like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athra Mistra Real Kantrak Eo. Hmm. Intelligence. Yeah, speak the words. Um, or Arcana. Yeah, I'm going to do it with Arcana again. Sorry, I'm using my inspiration. Can't fail this. All right. <laughs> Suddenly, the scent of rose water and a sense of well-being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Very good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony. As true as you can. Okay. What are we gonna... Insight. Uh, well, we certainly don't have fond memories of early youth. Uh, try to hum a familiar tune. Nature. Give a place of utter peace away from all harm and the mayhem of civilization. That's wisdom. I wish it actually told us what our bonuses are. Okay, it does. Um, performance. Try to hum a familiar tune. Well, we do have good skills here. I can do friends? On who? Myself? No. Nice. You see, or is it sense, the presence of a woman. The woman who hovered over Gale's palm. There's something like the anticipation of a kiss, then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace. Wait a minute, hold on. You are safe. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. <laughs> okay. You did it. You're channeling the weave. How does it feel? Effortless. You're a wonderful teacher. Oh, I know. <laughs> The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. Um, you're in no mood to be so close to Gale. Release your gas grasp on the weave or a satisfying end to a wondrous experience. It's time to let go. I mean, I don't want to, you know, being close to Gale is fine, but maybe not in that way. Satisfying end to a wondrous experience. We'll, we'll cut it off right here. The weave evaporates. And as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome. Oh. There it goes. How easily things slip away from us. No matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night. I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Shadowheart, it wasn't what it looked like, okay? Um, let's go to sleep. That was cool, though. The, I feel like it pushed the romance part a little bit hard. Like, could it just be, you know, him teaching the weave to us because he's a friend? Like, that, that can happen. Doesn't have to immediately go to something else. I guess it didn't. Like, we had the option to not bring it there, and it didn't cause disapproval, so maybe I'm not complaining for any reason. It just felt like it was kind of pushing in that direction. But uh, maybe that's just the weave. I don't know. Maybe the weave is normally just like that. Uh, what is this? We don't need to overfeed people. No, 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 no. Why would it do that? Anyways, save the carrots. Full rest. Anything sketchy going to happen? No. Alright, guys. That is where I'm going to end today's session. I hope you have enjoyed it. In the next session, like I said, we're going to actually head down into the Underdark, because I think we're more or less done here. Um, I was told from a comment that there's actually more to do in the Grove, 
But it kind of seemed like there's maybe not more to do in the grove right now, but that maybe I should come back later. That's good to know. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll of course do that. I, I will return, but uh, for now, it's time for the Underdark. We've solved the swamp. We've solved everything else. The only place we have not really gone in the uh, this particular region is up north. But uh, eventually we're going to reach the, uh, the shadow thing. I'm assuming it's the shadow fell. Uh, that, that's the name of the plane, right? Uh, Sword, you mentioned uh, that. I, I, I remember it as the old plane of shadow. Um, but I guess they changed the name of it. Um, or whatever the hell the uh, the Shar priest or the, the Shar servants did to conjure the, the darkness. Uh, over the uh, the Moonrise Towers, so. Yeah, we can try the Overland route. Maybe I should at least pursue part of the Overland route, and then we can always cut through the Underdark later. Maybe I'll do that way. I don't know, I really want to go to the Underdark, though, but at the same time, I don't want to miss anything up top. And maybe the Kresh is going to be somewhere up there. Not that I think the Kresh is actually going to be able to help us anymore, but... Uh, I'll decide it in the next episode. Uh, you can leave your comments. Uh, I'll probably have it recorded before uh, this episode actually is released, though. So, um, I don't know if I'll be able to act on your comments. But feel free to leave your suggestions and what have you. Uh, thank you once again to everybody that has been watching and uh, has been uh, moving along with this series thus far. It's uh, It's been a fun one. Nice, uh, small community building around it, and I like that. So, I'll catch you all in the next one. Ash Arter out.